Well, good morning, everybody. So I've been just being lazy this morning. Got up at six, laid, watched a little Netflix, fell back asleep for a few minutes. I've just still been laying here. Um, thought about doing something with uh, my friend today, but there's a, they're talking rain. I don't see anything on the the radar, but uh, they're talking like it's going to you know it's going to rain pretty much all afternoon. If that's the case, we will definitely be camping in town tonight. So due to the fact it's going to be a cruddy day, it's going to be hot as well. So it's probably going to be hot, and then if it rains, you'll maybe probably th pop up thunder showers and stuff like that. So what I'm thinking we're going to do is we'll go to the gym, obviously, we'll do that, shower. Probably go ahead and do laundry. I was going to wait till Tuesday. Uh, you know, cause I don't have to do it today. I got plenty of clothes, but if Tuesday is going to be nice, today is going to be cruddy. Why not do it today? So laundry that I keep forgetting and, uh, to get a carbon monoxide detector. So we're going to do that today. Install that on the back of the bureau where it's out of the way. Uh, you know, not going to catch anything on it. But it's still towards the top. We're going to look around to see if we can't find some uh, struts to hold these open. Because it has become a pain when I'm trying to get clothes out of here. Uh, to hold it and, you know. So I already need two hands because it's such a small space. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that, Hopefully. Um, then I may go try to find a restaurant or something somewhere different. You know, I've been being real frugal and I haven't, uh, you know, ate something different, you know, kind of a little more expensive per se. Uh, I don't want I me, mean, I don't want to spend a lot of money, but just something rather than a $5 corn dog or a double cheeseburger, you know, when I go out to eat or like I've been, you know, making. So we're going to go uh, do those couple things, and then depending on the weather, we uh, may be camping in town tonight. So I'm going to get up. I don't need to make the bed because i got to take the bedding, the bedding off, right? So let's get this stuff off. Get up. Get out of our bed clothes. And, uh, oh, by the way, I have like 20 of these. So it's, I'm not wearing the same one all the time, trust me. I had, at one time, I had like a hundred t-shirts uh, for work. <laughs> and uh, I threw a bum load of them out, gave a bum load of them to Hickory. Uh, same thing. I, I could go like months without doing laundry for work. Because my work pants uh, and, and uh, overshirt were washed by uh, the company. Well, a company. So it was just t-shirts, socks, and underwear is basically what I needed. And I was working basically, you know, six, seven days a week. So I would just have to be, really, you know, I had piles of t-shirts, socks, and underwear. So I've been trying to get rid of them, but I've got I've still got quite a few of these. Most of them in gray. I got a couple blue and a uh, one or two black. So, okay, let's get up, get this day started. Okay, we're at Lowe's. Two struts. See if they work. All right, now we got to find a carbon monoxide detector. In electrical, they said. So, go ahead, uh, electrical. Wherever that is. I was kind of hoping for, like, the staunch spring. But uh, this is all they got. So, we we'll go to electrical. See what we can find. Lighting, plumbing. Okay. Here's electrical. See if I can. 
All right, now. I mean, I should get a smoke and carbon monoxide alarm. But then they've got explosive gas and carbon monoxide. But the explosive gas I really need in the propane area. What else we got over here? Smoke and carbon. Smoke, 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 smoke. Contractor packs. We don't want that. So combination alarm. Smoke and carbon monoxide. Battery backup. Those are hardwired. We can't hardwire. Carbon, methane, and propane. Okay, but I need a separate one. So, I'm going to go with the cheapest smoke alarm. Carbon and smoke. Plus 10 year battery. Plus 54, now 39. That's the one we're going to go for right there. Now, they just had a propane alarm as well. That would be very nice. All right, let's see if we can't find some. All right. So I get you guys pretty, pretty much can't see what I'm doing, but it's not rocket science, guys. You got the plate. And we've got the detector. Okay, we're supposed to get rid of that. So all I got to do is screw this plate onto the back of the uh, bureau. We're going to mark where we want it to end up. End up maybe right here. Two marks for the screws. And we'll just screw these in. Oh man, it's a long bum buck screw. We gotta go back in and get some smaller screws. All my clothes are going to get all screwed up and everything else on there. And I really only want them to be I need him to be like half this size. All right, I'll be back. All right, take two. Went in there, bought some other screws. Probably he's probably gonna be too short. No, that should be fine. All right, so now I can't get these started. Just a hair. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start them and then put the thing on and screw them in tight. OK. 
Okay. And we'll put on the plate. Too perfect. Tighten it down. That's not going anywhere. Now the instructions to activate the line alarm with mounting bracket and turn clockwise. Press and hold the test button to assure alarm is activated. How to deactivate. Okay, so I don't care, I'll just chuck in the garbage. Oh, I see, deactivate breaks, breaks that, okay. Align alarm with mounting bracket and turn clockwise. And then we'll push the button. All right. Okay, guys. Okay. We are now, we've now got our smoke. Uh-oh. This doesn't sound good. What's it going to do? Okay. Hopefully that was the last ding. We now have carbon monoxide and smoke alarm. Probably have to go to a uh, pro uh, carbon or uh, camping store to get one for the uh, propane but that is done we are good and I just got a uh, message that we've got a package so uh, and I didn't order anything so I think before we do the struts we're gonna go ahead and uh, head to the mailbox and see what the heck's going on because uh, I think somebody sent me a gift so let's go to the uh, mailbox, see what's going on. Okay guys, I am really excited. <clears throat> um, I didn't order this, so it's gotta be from a subscriber. See what we got. I've never gotten a gift before. Just sending a little note, something to kick off your wish list. But it doesn't say who it's from. Guys, how do I tell you thank you? Well, I'm going to tell you thank you, and you know who you are, but would I like to give you a shout out? Thank you. What else? Now we gotta see what it is. Oh, sweet! It's the uh, connection for outside the rig so that it can uh, hook up the generator or if I'm at a campground, which, uh, you know, would probably be almost few and far and never between but I could also hook into the uh, you know the power outlet that is so cool thank you whoever you are oh man that is so cool of course now I got to find out this may be a Tuesday project if I've got a big enough hole I should I mean that that set I bought has a whole bunch it's got a rubber gasket, and I'd probably put silicone behind that. I, how do I? Oh, and then I have to self-tap it in. Okay, so we're going to have to make sure we have adhesive and stuff. I'm sure I do. That's cool. I just have to find, make sure I have a big enough hole saw. 
that that will fit into. And then we will uh, drill the hole, find a good place for it. I was actually going to put it through the uh, underneath the, the back light, uh, brake light. I don't know if this will fit there, though. So that we may have to go through the side of the van, which is no big deal. Um, I got room there. Try to find a real flat, a good flat spot. But that is so cool, man. Seems like there should be a, because uh, it's got threads on it. Like it would have something to, to lock it down, but there's nothing in the box. So I'll, have to, I'll have to double check on uh, Amazon to see if uh, they missed a piece. Seems like there should be some kind of clip. I don't know. That's cool as heck. Look at that, guys. Sweetest. Well, thank you again. All right. Oh, let's see. Where were we? That's so cool. Okay, I better keep this till I find out if I'm missing something. Um, put that right in the box. Oh, I'm going I'm to look at it outside for a minute. Okay, uh, let's see. What do we have? I want to put those struts up. I got to do laundry. And I got to go to the gym. So maybe we'll go to the gym first. Then laundry, and then struts. That is so cool. That is so cool, guys. I finally put an Amazon wish list. Somebody got me something. That is so cool. That is so cool, guys. Okay, uh, let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go get a shower. Come on, guys. I had to do it. It's once in, a, once in a very long time. Come on. All right. We're at the uh, car wash. Going to vacuum it out. Getting pretty bad.
Well, guys, not bad news. So, there is a uh, pretty heavy rain getting ready to come in. Um, it's on the radar. It's not too far away. So, it's definitely going to probably rain all night, or at least all evening. Which means the space I was in last night, I wouldn't want to be in. Um, the road around it is too bad. It's so washboardy, whoop de doo, you know? I mean, it's really bad. I mean, you gotta go like two mile an hour. Um, I don't want to be in that if. Uh, after a rainstorm. So that leaves in town, right? Which would be, you know, what we were thinking about doing. Problem is, I don't want to just be on the side of the road. I want to be at least near a park or something where when it's not raining, I can, you know, have the door open and, you know, fresh air and enjoy something. But the problem with that, where I was going to go tonight, they are having a, a the, uh, theater performance. Theatrical performance. Okay. So they've got... Um, all kinds of stuff set up there, which means not going to get a spot in anywhere in that area. Um, all the public parking is going to be taken up till like nine or well, the performance doesn't end till nine, which means by the time people get a little yelly, you know, and chit chat and all that fun stuff, or maybe go and have a drink afterwards. All those spots are going to be taken until at least 10 o'clock. And obviously, I'm not going to wait till 10 or 11 o'clock to try to find a site. So that leaves going back uh, to the forest and doing one of two things. If I can't find a uh, spot... closer, that's on the better road, then I'd have to stay in the, uh, there's a communal lot, just a big parking lot, not bad, I stayed there when I came and, well, I, like, I think I was there in April, so that's kind of the choice. I mean, if it starts raining, it's not that big of a deal. Because I could just go ahead and work on those struts. Which is kind of what I was planning to do anyways, but I would like to be, you know, able to enjoy the outside a little bit. First, I don't know, I'm going to finish holding the laundry and putting it away and we will uh, figure that out after laundry's over. All right, guys, uh, the wind's really picked up. Dust is really in the air. Every, when I, that was, uh, I had a side of poutine, 
and a burnt end brisket sausage with a cream cheese, garlic aioli, onions, and a yellow mustard. That was really good, and I finished half of the boutine and two-thirds of the sausage. I'm really impressed with myself. But anyways, the wind's really picked up. It's blowing the smoke in hard. Um, the dust is really flying hard. I'm standing behind the van, and the uh, little shards underneath are stinging my legs. So it was a good day. We got a lot of stuff done. Uh, uh, mono carbon monoxide smoke detectors in. I am going to put the struts in. I'll leave that for tomorrow's video. I did order a propane detector. It's going to have to be hardwired in. But that will go in my propane closet. Then we'll just run it to the fuse block. So the rain's getting pretty close. Wind's uh, you know, really picked up in the last 20 minutes. And the temperature is dropping pretty quick. So I think it's going to start raining. So I'm probably just going to get in the van and do some work. And I'll film that for tomorrow. It's so, okay, you guys. Thanks for watching, commenting, sharing, subscribing, and liking. As always, you guys have a great morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. And we'll see you tomorrow on Jelly Bean Outdoors.